Hi everybody, this is Terry Doherty back in the Mom's Choice Awards studio with Bruce Lansky. We had such fun with Giggle Poetry Reading Lesson. We're gonna talk early birdie gets the worm. I have to admit though, I was incredibly honored to be offered the opportunity to write an endorsement for the book. And I have my name on the back, yay! All right, <laughs> that's my enthusiasm. Early birdie gets the worm. You know I loved this book. Right. You know, when I grew up, I didn't remember wordless books, but this really spoke to me as I could just have imagined my two or three year old daughter just playing and reading and st changing the story every time. Picture reading. What do you mean by picture reading? Picture reading is the process by which a parent and child team up to interpret, understand, read, tell the story of a book. They're not literally reading it because there are no words in the book, but the story is told in pictures and so effectively the child is the storyteller in chief and the parent is sort of the assistant and usually plays the role of asking questions or prompting and helping the child discover any part of the story they're not getting. Think about it as a detective. The detective looks for clues. In this book, there are no words, so all the clues are visual. And it's up to the child to figure out the story. You're solving, you're solving the book by figuring out what the story is. And then the third or fourth or fifth time, you're, doing, you're working on your storytelling skills. So you're gonna find when I picture read it, I talk about what they're saying or thinking or what might happen next. And those are the tricks of storytelling that keep your audience involved. And this is like, so this won't teach a child how to read a book. It will teach a child the fun of reading a book and yep. how to tell a story, actually. Well, you know, and the other thing that I love about it is because the child's telling the story, they, you know, kids love to model the people that are important to them. Right. So if mom is used to reading a bedtime story to right. them, Wow, this is my chance to now be like, I Mom, I can do it. So show me. Let's, I just want to tell you one thing. That's a great comment. And one really strange thing is, it's so easy for a child to read this book. It's so easy that they think they're reading. Yeah. And all they're doing is looking at the pictures and telling you what they see. Okay, I'm going to sort of picture read it awesome. as I would. And your child may not do it this way, but this I'm going to notice many of the things in the story. Okay. Early Birdie wakes up. You can see that she's stretching and yawning or maybe chirping. And notice that her brothers are as fast asleep. Now, I don't know if Early Birdie's a boy or a girl, but it doesn't ma matter. I'm sorry I called her her, but Early Birdie wakes up, stretches, yawns, and Early Birdie's brothers are still sleeping. Early Birdie, look right here. Early Birdie looks out of the nest. Mom is gone. Where Mama went is, she's down on the ground catching a worm. And you can see her pulling a worm out of the ground. And early Birdie is thinking, I wish I could do that. And then he remembers, early Birdie has just learned how to fly. He's about, at, at, two, year, at two weeks old, Robins can fly. So early Birdie flies down looking for a worm, and the hunt is on. Now notice, the siblings are still, still sleeping. Still sound asleep. Exactly. That would be me. Early Birdie, I'm not going to read the whole story, this could take a while. Early Birdie gets lucky. He immediately, Early Birdie finds a worm coming, sticking out of a bush. And Early Birdie goes for it, grabs it, and starts to pull. And Early Birdie is into this hunting thing. Unfortunately, oh no. It's not a worm. It's not a worm. Early Birdie caught a kite stream. And now Early Birdie is blowing away with the wind. And I'm not sure how, what happened, but Early Birdie fell off or chewed through the kite string and is dazed and confused on the ground. Now, there is another little worm that Early Birdie sees, and I don't want to keep going. I, I don't want to give the whole story away, no. but the thing about it is, Early Birdie discovers in this story how difficult it is to catch a worm. But I can tell you, there's a happy ending. Early Birdie gets the worm, I'll tell you that, yes. yes. Exactly. Now, how does early birdie work? You know, I'm in the literacy field, so I get telling stories and letting kids sort of express and use their imagination. 
but for the parent who may not be comfortable with, okay, what do, what do I do with okay. this thing? It's just pictures. How do I make it work? Okay, so a couple of things. First of all, I made a video, and you can find it on YouTube, Meadowbrook Press. Click on that. There's a video, and when you play that, I have three three-year-olds reading this book, picture reading the book, and I have one five-year-old and one six-year-old, so you can see what it looks like. I can tell you when, that when one of the three-year-olds sees this picture, the three-year-old says, pull, 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 pull. And this kid is so, ex a little girl named Bella from Texas, she's so excited, you can't believe it, that a kid, a three-year-old will get so excited reading a book. But almost all the kids get excited when they're reading the book because it's a funny story. So the first thing is, kids can do it, and there's a video that shows it. The second thing is, if you look right here on the bottom, it says, MeadowbrookPress.com slash picture reading and we have a whole picture reading script so we can tell you what to say and also we have little prompts or questions that you can ask. On every page there's about four or five or six questions you can ask to help your child figure out what early birdie is thinking or feeling, what he is, early birdie is saying, um, how happy or sad they are at that moment. Of course as the parent, you're going to get it. Because when early birdie is stand, sitting there looking like this, you're going to say, well, how do you think early birdie feels? And your child is going to say, well, confused, sad, depressed, yeah. morose. I mean, pick a, pick a word that fits. Sad is probably the, the yep. word. Sad and maybe hurt. Or your child might yeah, that's say... that's what I was thinking, was big, hurt, sort of like dizzy. Your child might say big owie. The word I use for this picture is kaboom. because. Presumably, early birdie fell off the kite, let go of the kite string and fell off. So basically, just with this one picture, kaboom, yep. owie, big owie, um, cuckoo, cuckoo, yep. cuckoo, I mean, whatever, it's really fun. So there are so many options available to the storyteller, your child, and the parent's role is to sort of cue the child in yes. and say, okay, what word would you use here to describe this mess? <laughs> So that's the fun of it, and that's how it works. It's, a, it's teamwork. Now, you can think of this as like a parent-child, two-person book club, because yes. what you're doing, what are you doing? You're talking about a book. What's going on? What do you think about it? What would you do if you were that character? You can invoke empathy. You want your child, of course, to develop empathy through reading. It has so many layers to oh it. Oh my as God, they it's grow. tremendous. Yeah, as how about story over. structure? Predicting, we're at the beginning of the story. So we've only met this one kite string. Well, there's about four other episodes that are just as kooky and crazy. So I'm and adorable. And adorable, exactly. And I can tell you the ending is really sweet. And if you say this word, these words out loud, you, that will be the correct way to picture read that last page. Yes. Uh, but the thing is, it's really fun. There's some drama. There's theatricality. There are. You're going to teach your child basically how to tell a story. And your child is going to learn this big message. I love books. I love reading. Yep. Reading is so much fun. Yeah, this book is going to go everywhere with them. It's going to go everywhere. Now, the thing on the cover says, what a great way to turn three to six-year-old children into readers. Now, you're, I'm going to read your quote, though. Fans of P.D. Eastman's Are You My Mother will adore Early Birdie Gets the Worm. Bright, engaging illustrations offer just enough tell to let your readers young readers discovered the story for themselves. So you told the whole storytelling story there, and early birth, um, Are You My Mother is one of my favorite all-time. Um, it was one of the very first books I read to my daughter. It's great, isn't it? It is fabulous. It's on our very special, very small shelf of books that will be bestowed someday. And I'm happy to tell you that for mothers, tell mothers that uh, mom plays a, mom plays a successful role in this in this story absolutely so this is a mother daughter or mother son mother son book yeah. bonding bonding book yes. really i'm so glad you were able to stop by thanks for coming i am too and you know maybe i'll see you next year i hope so <laughs> let's do it let's do it